people with power of one sort or another. Starting out, we've got music power. We're going to give you a famous musical celebrity that has to do with power. Hey, this next one, this guy was severely into power, Adolf Hitler and his boys. Next of all, we have another power mad bunch of people, those TV evangelists. That's right, fallen angels. Next of all, we're going back in the history books for historical power. Hey, here's one of my favorites, TV power. These are going to be famous TV guys that are into power. And for all you lightweights out there, we finish up with power cartoons. Hey, we got a phone call. You're on TV. Hey, kid, you're on TV. Hmm. I can't hear them. Is that because this is working? There you go. I can hear you now. All right. Hey, we got a whole bunch of power categories tonight. Which one do you want? Adolf and his boys. Adolf and his boys. And look what you're playing for. Stock options. All right. Yeah, you can't do power without stock options. Name Adolf Hitler's book. Mein Kampf. Yeah, that's right. You got uh, stock options. Pick again. I'll stick with Adolf and his boys. Okay, Adolf and his boys. Oh, here's another power fixture. Salad bars. Yum, yum. Blank, Eva, his wife. Eva Braun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on the Jetsons. You knew that. Go ahead, pick again. I'll stick with that. I'll go all the way. Okay, I just adore a penthouse view. Oh, Adolf's dog. Um. The name of Adolf Hitler's dog. Um, Rudolph Hess. I don't know. No, no, no. It's What kind of dog is this? I'll, I'll give it to you if you can identify. Labrador. No, Adolf Hitler's dog was one of them... Uh, what kind of shepherd do you find German in Germany? German Shepherd. German Shepherd. His name was Schatzi. Oh. That's that's a trivial fact about Adolf and his boys. We'll let you continue. All right, I'll stick with that. Okay, going for, oh, darling, I love you, but give me Tower Avenue. Hey, where Adolf Hitler's brother, who is still alive, currently lives? South America. Nope. They all live in South America. No, no, this is Adolf Hitler's half-brother. Probably Austria. That's where nope. he's from. Nope, they got fish and chips there. Oh, England. Yeah, England. He's actually got a half-brother who's still alive and living in England. This guy doesn't even remember Adolf at all. Hey, are you having fun with this dog here? We got this, this power dog. Yeah, I like him. He looks like my friend's dog. Yeah, there's a lot of these dogs running around. You know why? Why? Because yuppies like dogs. But yuppies like small dogs. So they don't have to take care of them. Yeah, well, that too. But you see, this is the only dog we could get on short notice. Go ahead, pick again. All right, can you go through, just sh flash the categories? Music power, Adolf and his boys, Fallen Angels, Historic Power, TV Power, and Power Tunes. How about uh, Fallen Angels? Fallen Angels, this is all about those TV evangelists. You're playing for election sickness. She was into Jim Baker. Jessica Hahn, but he was into her. Well, yeah, it was kind of a reciprocal deal. You got, uh, look at all this cool stuff you've got. You can start your own power block. Try again. All right, how about we'll continue with Fallen Angels? Fallen Angels. Hey, you're playing for white winos. You've seen them? Yeah. On, 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 like, Wall Street. Hey, dog, chill out. We'll do lunch. Just wait. Okay, you're playing for white winos. This is the guy that went into his prayer tower to raise $3.5 million. Oral Roberts. Yeah, Oral. And he managed to get it only because some dog track owner in Florida coughed up the last of the dough. Pick again. OK, we'll stick with Fallen Angels. Uh-oh, you're talking about no parking. You I know sure how am. certain spots say absolutely no parking? Yep. You get your own parking space marked no parking. He went to the no-tell motel for posing with a prostitute. Jimmy Swagger. Yeah, can you believe that? He had her alone in a cheap motel room and he didn't even do anything. Sure he did, he just said he didn't. Yeah, oh, maybe you're right. You know, I had a, I had a cheap motel like that. Do you remember that, Slouch's no tell motel? Oh yeah. Except I used female vampires as the prostitutes. And that way when they, were, when they came out of the hotel room with the televangelists, nobody could take pictures of them. It was like foolproof. That's because they came out during the day, right? Yeah, they were like invisible to the cameras. Pick again. We'll stick with Fallen Angels. Fallen Angels. Oh, this is something big time. A key to the United Cable Executive Washroom. All right. Ooh, that's, that's where us peons cannot tread. His, he, uh, he paints any face for $99.95, primer gray or primer orange. Tammy Baker's makeup artist. Yep, or Earl Scheib, either one. 
Well, you just got the key to the United Cable washroom. Click again. All right, I'll keep going. Keep going? I secretly belong to a bowling team. Ugh, that's no, no way secret. to get power. He ran for president because God told him to. Pat Robertson. Yeah, Pat Robertson. I can imagine him as president. I think it would be pretty cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. You're going for a mobile phone. You got a mobile phone in your car yet? No, my car stinks. Yeah, so does mine. Uh, who slid down the water slide? Uh, Robert Schuler. Nope, nope, nope. This is the guy that, that stepped in and took over Heritage USA after Jim Baker took off. Oh, um, wait a second. That other Falwell, guy. Falwell, Falwell. Falwell, Jerry Falwell. He took a slide down the slide because he raised enough money. See, that's, that's what power equals money, right? Yep. And as long as you have 85 cents, you can have a power lunch, right? That's right. Right, and, and you know what a power lunch, lunch is, don't you? We got a power lunch right here. We're going to show you M&M's and Diet Coke. Hey, it gives you plenty of energy. Yeah, that's right. Th if this doesn't power you up, nothing will. Hey, and you know you know where lawyers come from, don't you? Yeah. They eat green M&M's. <laughs> all you have to do, kids out there, if you're watching, any little kids, if you want to grow up and be a lawyer, all you have to do, don't spend all your money on law school. Go out and buy 100 cases of M&M's, pick out the green ones and eat them and you'll be just as smart as any lawyer. Go ahead and pick again. All right, is there any more for fallen angels? Nope, all the angels have fallen. How about historical power? Okay, this is historical guys who really are into power, like, here comes the judge. You have to tell me, Julius, don't stab me again, Caesar's main squeeze. Portia. Who? Portia, his wife. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, we, we had another answer for Cleopatra. that. Cleopatra? Yeah, okay, either one of those. I guess he was, like, fooling around. Yeah. You know, I think that's like almost like a sub-theme here about how rich white males are always fooling around with females. Yeah. Yeah. You notice that. Go Not ahead and pick again. Not just white males. Mike Tyson does it, too. Mike Tyson, too? Oh, one of my idols. Go ahead. Pick again. I'll keep going with historical power. Okay. Is you want to play some racquetball. Sure. That's what those power guys do. He aced Abe, let's do lunch, Lincoln. John Wilkes Booth. Yeah, he did it in that Ford's Theater there. Yep. And to honor him, I went out and bought, bought a Ford Escort. <laughs> Go ahead, pick again. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, you're really into history, aren't you? Yeah. Domino's Pizza delivers, just like Merle Lynch there. The English dude with eight wives. Henry VIII. Yeah, you I got am. it. I think he had more than eight wives. I think, you know, only eight of them made the tabloids. Go only ahead. eight of them got their heads taken off. Yeah, you know, too much headroom there like Max. Go all ahead, right, pick let's again. Let's continue with E.F. Hutton. Okay, when E.F. talked... People listen. He loved his horse. He was Roxanne's husband, and he cut the Gordian Alexander knot. Alexander the Great. Yeah, see, none of these little kids out there are going to know this stuff because they're not into history. It's in an Iron Maiden song. Okay, go ahead, pick again. Love you, babe. Let's go with history. Oh, more history. A guy after my own heart. How many kids did George number three have? One. Nope. Two. Nope. Um, Come yeah. on, we're talking about a prodigious English dude. All right, how about 15? That's a good round number. No, no, you lose out. He had 13, one for each of the colonies he lost. Yeah, but how many people are going to know that? Well, it's like a history bit. I got to warn you, though, the farther down you went, the more difficult it became. Hey, look at all this cool stuff you got. Yeah, when do I pick it up? Yeah, well, you can go out and, like, start your own power block now. Yeah, I'll try that. You, you could, like, run for city council or the cable commission? Mm -hmm. Cool. Hey, speaking of which, I've got a powerful offer you're going to like. Okay. Yeah, here it is right here. You can write in for your free power kit. How and here's what that? you're going to get. You're going to get a comic book and a calendar and another comic book, all dealing with power. And all you got to do is write Sloucho, Box 6032, East Lansing, Michigan, 488. Two, six. And this is going to be your instant status kit, your key to power, right? Yep. Even if you're watching in reruns in another city, the offer is still valid. Right in. Oh, that's right. I'll promise you the moon and give you nothing. Hey, lose this guy. <laughs> we got to have more phone callers. We got uh, the chick with the power hair here, the abominable abominable snow chick, that's is me. here with the, uh, the power pooch watching the dog so it doesn't tip over one of the cameras here. We got, we got to discuss power. You're into power, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got to have power. Oh, we got a phone caller. Hey, you're on TV. Hello? Hello, dude. You're on TV. Uh, could you run the um, camera across the... Uh, okay, we got, we got to show you the categories. We have untouched up here, 
music power. We got two left on Adolf and his boys. We're all out of the televangelists. We got one left on historic power. We got TV power and power tunes. Power tunes. Power tunes. This is all about cartoon characters who are into power. Hey, look what you get, a new nail wrap. Do mm. you know what the difference between a female lawyer and a rat is? No difference. No, nail polish. Oh. Okay, go ahead. This is your question. Who is the head of the Scooby-Doo gang? Um, that Shaggy? No, that's not No, me. Shaggy's not the boss. I know Shaggy. It's, it's that guy, the big hefty guy. Oh, um, I forgot. I don't remember. Oh, not Velma. The guy with the sweater, the big hulking guy. Freddy. Freddy. Yeah, yes, he's Freddy. the one that had the van. You know how that goes when you got a youth gang, the guy with the car is always in charge? Mm -hmm. Hey, you lost out. You don't win anything. Lose okay. this guy. Hey, we got we to gotta put in another plug now for the stupid stuff. You're going to get uh, two comic books and a calendar. All you got to do is write for your free power and status kit. Here's the address. Once again, it's Scuggo Box 6032, East Lansing, Michigan, 48826. Even if you're watching from another city where they pick this up on the satellite, is that a satellite bowl or a plate? I think they got that free at the gas station with a fill up. Hey, look at this. We got to talk about power. We got to talk about land usage rights. We pride this sign here off the side of United Cable's building here. It says, no trespassing, violators will be prosecuted. Now, you got to believe that United Cable doesn't take this very seriously because this sign is about 15 years old. They never even bothered to change it. Hey, is that one of those uplinks or is that a downlink? Or is that one of them sausage links they have for power breakfast? I think it's, yeah, it's one of them cuff links. Hey. The missing link. We got we got a phone caller. You're on TV. Hey, it's not Joe. It's it's me. I'm back. I'm live tonight. We're doing it with power. You got to pick. Um, power tunes. Power tunes. This is all about cartoon dudes that are into power. Hey, do you have like one of those fat guts? Me? Yeah. Mm, not really. You can you can use some of that lip toe suction. That's where they stick a Hoover vacuum inside you and suck out all the fat. I know a kid named Trevor that does. Yeah. Hey, how how does Popeye get his power? Uh, spinach. Yeah, spinach. He's strong to the finish because he eats his spinach. Tell that dog to chill out here. We'll have a meeting. Uh, go ahead, pick again. Um, power tunes. Power tunes again. I haven't been to Paris in three years. What Thor was into throwing? His hammer. Yeah, his mighty hammer. And you know how it always came back? Yeah. Yeah, that's because they didn't put enough postage on it. <laughs> that that happens to all kinds of my scuggle mail. Go ahead, pick again. Keep going with tunes. Oh, more tunes for you. My co-op assessment went up. Who says it's mine, mine, all mine, 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 mine? Um. He's really greedy. Uh. Oh, come on. What, what happened to the screen? I don't know. Oh. That's their plan with the buttons again. It's the little black duck. Um, Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck. Remember when he's with Bugs Bunny and they're like oh, yeah, that's right. when he gets hunting for treasure and stuff, and, and Daffy always goes crazy, but Bugs kind of like ends up getting all the cool stuff in the end? Yeah. There's a lesson to be learned there, kid. What? I don't know. Pick <laughs> again. Um, Power Tunes. Power Tunes. Okay. You're playing for 2% 10 days or net 30 days. What Ms. Pac-Man eats? Um, Ghost. No. First, before you eat, yeah, that's right, unauthorized vehicles will be towed away at owner's expense. What does Miss Pac-Man eat before she eats the ghosts? Power pellets. Yeah, power pellets. It's like that salad bar there. Go ahead, pick again. Um, power tunes. Pa oh, finishing up power tunes. Call my girl. We'll set up an appointment. Boris Badenoff's boss. Um, Natasha. No, that's his, his, his cohort. Oh. There's um, two of them. Mr. Uh, blank or Fearless Blank? Leader. Fearless Leader or Mr. Big? Yeah. Okay, who had a higher rank? Um, Mr. Big. No, Mr. Big was under Fearless Leader. Fearless Leader was the boss of Pottsylvania. I didn't see that one with him. Okay, oh no, here comes the Amtrak. It's going to make more noise than the damn dog. 